Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. My name is Raven Schild. Today, when the night is done, I want to go in and start building around the house, upgrading the house and make it a bit more zombie proof and then maybe go a bit more <laughs> scavenging that that's a thing you need to do anyways but we need to set up some uh, traps around the house and maybe some spikes we will see what happens good let me wait here in the night at the moment i don't have a lot of things i could do i will organize a bit maybe cook up some water cook up some food and i will meet you back when it's daytime i know what i missed to do we can craft tools i just took a look at the <laughs> i just took a look at the yeah not furnace it's called the forge and we can make some better tools that's what i wanted to do so we need an axe we need a shovel if possible uh, we need more materials for that and i want to also make an iron garden hole and maybe hmm, a claw hammer I will try to get all these things. Um, the, they should be around in the same league as these tools. Good. So this will be replaced. This. I think we can repair this now. Or. Oh, okay, I have to read the correct book. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I think I talked about that the last time that I need the book for that. I have thrown more iron into the furnace and we had the anvil in here. So we can work with iron bars now and can make all this stuff. Uh, that's a really, really neat thing. Uh, metal trussing blocks, they will come in handy. Um, we I want to build a metal trussing area around the house um, so in in a certain height so that we can use that as a walkway to defend the house from there um, and metal trussing is relatively good because we can shoot through it and um, that makes it nice good let me work more on this i will try to get uh, the tools um, forged iron I need um, okay I'm not sure if I can get that but I will get more forged iron so I can make all the tools I'm just here taking a look at the skills I can get and I can make the workbench already so maybe I should get the skill and then work towards the tools I need for that um, I need a claw hammer, I can make these, and I need a wrench. If I get more than one wrench, then everything's fine and dandy. But if I only have the the wrench I'm I have now, I want to use it up before I use it for a workbench. The rest shouldn't be too difficult. I think there's some mechanical parts and some other things mechanical parts forge iron and wood that's not problematic the only things again the, the wrench is at the moment our thing there because we have that wrench and <laughs> no more hopefully we get some more then we can make a workbench that makes life a bit easier at some points <laughs> good let me let me continue it's still it's still just a lot of waiting working around the house at the moment i'm breaking broken parts of the house down and i will try to replace them later with uh, different materials and th that's what i'm doing right now it's maybe it's not a good idea to set the whole world to use two <laughs> two hour long <laughs> two hour long uh, days and nights uh, we will see
The day has begun and I came outside to do some measurements, basically. What I want to do is I want to start out by measuring a certain distance. I think four blocks. That's what I want to go with from the house and then start to dig a trench there, um, a, a shallow trench that I can fill with the spikes. Um, there are uh, two different spikes, I think. Let us see. There are these wooden lock spikes and the wood spikes. And I want to use these for the trench and then surround it with the wood spikes. Uh, these are not so much of a permanent solution. These things are a bit more permanent and later you can update them to scrap iron spikes and to steel spikes and all that stuff. And um, these things basically break the zombies legs. They fall into the spikes themselves and then get slowly killed while the spike takes a bit of damage. And uh, I want to start again by having a certain distance from the house so I can uh, walk around the house still and maybe set later some other traps around the house um, that will kill the zombies. In the back I want to have a bit more um, to have a bit of an area where I maybe can set up not sure, a garden or something like that. Maybe double the distance. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, this is six, seven, eight. Maybe a bit more. We have relatively flat a relatively flat area here that we can use. And on the other side, we'll go with the four, two. The trench will be too wide. And we will make it just one block deep for now so that the zombies, that the, the spikes are basically flat with the top. In the front, we, we will have to do different things um, because we need a way to get out of the whole thing somehow. And that will be a thing I will have to deal with. Okay. The trench will be um, will have a border around it. So I want to first go with wood and then later start and upgrade that and maybe later use um, concrete or something like that. That would be nice. So that's the thing now. I want to start digging. And again, I want to start somewhere here. This will take a while with these tools and um, you might not want to see me digging the whole day. So um, I will continue doing this and then come back to you when I have some uh, things to show you. I'm digging a bit more down here so that I can later put into this part of the trench. I want to put in some flagstone blocks. Um, upgrading these blocks will be a bit harder for the starts. And so I want to bring in the best blocks that I at the moment can put in. And you can see I'm crafting up some cobblestone there so that I can put that in there. This will be the width and on this side I want to not use the full blocks. I want to use slopes. Um, at the moment I don't want to stop the zombies in the trench here. I want to have... They, they should have the ability to crawl out of there. Um, with these blocks when their legs are broken it might be problematic for them. I don't know how um, how they do that. So one block height, if they have legs and all that stuff, is not a problem. They will just climb over that. Um, but I don't want them to do too much damage to the whole trench. I don't want to constantly repair the trench. Um, it's enough that I have to repair the the spikes all the time. So that's why I want to have uh, 
a slope here so that they can climb into normal spikes or something like that, for example. I want to set up some uh, normal wood spikes around here. These are, again, I can craft them up and then I could, for example, put three rows of spikes here and just have them in here and then uh, use the, this small path here to walk around that or to be able to replace them or something like that. Good, okay, that needs more work. I'm not sure if I will be able to finish the whole thing for the first uh, Horde Knight. That might not be possible, but the first Horde Knight is normally not too crazy. Uh, it's, yeah, it's harder. Uh, it gets harder and harder with every seven days. The first one, um, yeah, will be pretty okay -ish, hopefully um, I this is the start of a project that I want to uh, do yeah the whole time so that fixing up this trench making it better and better then maybe set up some more defenses change the inner defenses for maybe turrets or something like that we we will have to see what we can do there good but this needs more work I, I'm constantly looking if there's more wandering hordes or something coming through here because that's a thing I also don't want to have right now. The tools go pretty fast, but I think I can deal with this. Um, if I will do some meters here and then go out and find some materials to craft up better tools, uh, deal with the trees around here because the the wood will be needed i say for all these spikes good let me continue work one thing i also need to think about is the bottom part of the house because oh okay it is stone i thought i thought this is not stone but wood that is just that is just painted why hmm Okay, then I don't need to think about this. <laughs> I thought that I need to upgrade this. Hmm. But that's good. I don't need to. It seems to even be... Oh, yeah, it's concrete. I need to... I need concrete concrete to repair this. Uh, that's a thing I will have to deal with later. But that's completely okay. Um, This thing needs to be changed. And I need to do more stuff here. Here you can see how I want to have that for now. I will fill this now with some spikes. Let us take a look. Oh, sorry for the noise. Um, some spikes. Um, I thought about maybe just uh, taking... Just taking the disposable spikes and fill this thing with them but i'm i'm not sure one thing we for example can do now is on this side have barbed wire uh, barbed wire slows down the zombies and damages them i think just a bit but if we slow them down here and we um do what i talked about with the scrap so the 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 scrap truss Thing. How is it called? I don't know right now. The, the, the truss we talked about that I can make now. I want to remove this and have a line of these trusses around the house here so that uh, spider zombies can't climb it. That's a good thing. Uh, they, they will climb the wall and then end up on a block that they can't uh, go through. And the thing is, I want to be able to stand here and then be able to just shoot at them. And if they are getting stopped by barbed wire here, I have an easier time shooting the zombies from there. Uh, later, I also want to replace the material here and make it into, um, don't know, concrete or something like that. This here doesn't look too nice and so that needs to be done later too. Good, are the spikes done? Yes. 
So I can grab this now. And this will be, oh no, the spikes. Yes, I have to destroy that. I can't pick them up again. That's one thing that sometimes I don't like about this game that I have to, that I really have to destroy stuff that is misplaced. There's an easier way for, for example, I, I like that there's basically preview blocks. So with all the wood blocks here, you, you get these frames and then you can preview where you want to build them. And the good thing is with concrete later, there's something like that too, the, the rebar frame, where you can place the frames and then fill them with concrete so that uh, breaking down concrete blocks is a real pain so okay that's how I want to have it for the first for the first hordes I think and later again we will do something with traps and maybe with turrets this whole structure most people don't do stuff like that they prepare horde bases and um, make intricate uh, cages for example that they can use to defend themselves from in I I don't want to do that so we have to be prepared for things and so uh, I hope that this this whole thing here works out otherwise we will have to um, change tactics and all that stuff midway but this is a this for now should be enough if I can get that. And again, I can I can fill the inside here with spikes too. That helps. That definitely helps against normal zombies that occasionally wander in. Um, this should be definitely good enough. And we just have to run around the base sometimes and just fix everything up with a claw hammer and um, maybe later a nail gun. This should be easy work. <laughs> Good. I will do more work. I need to later go out and get me some more materials. I see that the that the tools don't last as long as I would like them to last. And to repair them takes two forged iron. And I need more of that, I would say. So we need to find iron. Um, that's also, I gather that also by breaking down these small rocks that are around the base. Um, and I need to continue doing this. We have an airdrop. Um, that's, ooh, that's relatively close. Um, I will drop some stuff off and we will uh, go there. That's a good thing. The airdrop usually has nice things in it and that's something that we can really use right now. Um, I maybe should put a chest down here somewhere so that we can store things in there if needed. <laughs> you can see I'm constantly trying to um, yeah, grab new stuff, uh, bring in new things. Uh, I'm cutting down trees. I'm breaking down uh, <laughs> everything that I basically can find just to... Um, I will leave this here too and the clay can stay here too. Okay, do I have... I have something to eat. I have something to drink. Let us go. Going for an airdrop, always nice. And again, that seemed to be pretty close. So uh, let me go towards it. And when I have found it, I will come back to you. Here it is. Nice. I hope you uh, don't hear the music in the background. Um, my neighbor started to be loud and I can't say if uh, if the music shows up on the 
audio or will be picked up by the mic. We will see. Good. Ooh, okay, that's nice. Antibiotics, armor schematics, and all that stuff. Um, it could always be better because this is this is rubbish. Uh, these are nice. Uh, the slugs are pretty um, expensive, but they are also really good ammo. Um, it makes your <laughs> it makes your shotgun behave more like a like a normal rifle. Um, good. Okay, we wander back, and I, as always, I try to. On the ways I'm doing, I try to grab as much stuff as I see. Um, decision I made is that I want to see if I take apart some uh, cars on the way back to grab the materials from them. This is nice. Uh, I will bring it with me just because um, I want to go for complete cars so stay away from these ones for now go for the perfect ones these are also not right um, the normal cars or cars that cars have I think three stages and the pristine cars like for example this one I, I don't know if you if you've seen it um, they give you randomly engines and batteries and if I go for concrete having an engine will be helpful I need oh yes 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 we can make the workbench <laughs> another thing um, when I come back I will do this too then we can start to make ammo and all that stuff good let me uh, pick apart some of the some of the cars that are on the way see the first car we pick apart and there is an engine in there uh, 195 that's not too good something higher would be better for later mini bike use or something like that but we are out here to just grab engines um, I also get uh, gas cans and uh, mechanical parts mechanical parts will be needed later so that's a good thing so okay <laughs> I will do more work go back to the base prepare the workbench so that we can place that thing there's a horde wandering by. I just came back and now this. Did someone... Oh, oh, I'm hunted now. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. They will come up here. That's not good. Uh, I don't know how to deal with this. <laughs> I was not hidden well enough. So, uh, I think they will take down oh undetected I hope they don't take down the door now they will just hopefully just move on and not Ooh, okay this is scary I don't hear them take down the door so screaming okay but I don't hear them hitting things okay I will just I will just wait a few more minutes to uh, go back out again I hope that they vanish by then I've prepared everything for for the workbench and I will get crafting this um, now we have to wait a few minutes until we can place that. In the meantime, I will hide here. Um, the, the zombies are still there and I might need to distract them somehow. Maybe I need to open the back door and then 
go out there and lure, lure, lure them, lure them away from the house. We will have to see if that works. Mm. For the future, I might put some spikes down in the front so that wandering hordes at least get decimated. Uh, I don't know why they hang around because they, it says I'm not detected anymore, but they they seem to still hang around here. The workbench is done and I need to go down there. They Now they wreck the house. But first I want to place this so that I don't lose any progress on that. Good, let us deal with these guys, see? Already they are here. Already they are here. Ma'am, stand down. <laughs> now I know that they broke down the front door. Um, they rotated around the front door and tried to um, kill the awning that's above it. So maybe the damage is not too big. But I'm pretty sure it's big. Oh, come on. This can't be so hard. Okay, these two are gone. But there might be more. There might be more. Let's go down and see. It's snowing. Oh, no. Oh, dang. They... They also broke down. The top of the door. Die already. Beer. Okay, at least she brought beer. That's nice of her. The good thing is that the awning above the front, I wanted to remove it anyways. So they at least did a good job with that but now i need to repair the door come on okay handlebars nice that comes in handy for for later why do you have handlebars i don't understand this okay let me make a door Door. We need to upgrade the door. I think that's a thing we could also do. And we need a flag stone block. We'll just use one whole one. Place that above the door. Oh, I had some. Mm. Place that above the door. Then bring the door back. And maybe an upgrade or two. Let us see what we need. Some wood, some scrap, and the next thing would be forged iron. We can go. We can go with the scrap for now. And now we have to ride the snow out. Uh, I, I'm not prepared for it snowing. That's the problem. I thought we would be in a good area for this, but we are not. Okay, let me hack down the the rest of the the zombies and then oh no what a weather <laughs> and then we then I will do as usual and uh, start to scavenge a bit more do a bit more work and if nothing completely crazy happens then i will uh, come back to you in the evening and we will end the episode i would say by the way now we can combine things in the in the workbench to make better things and to repair uh, some of the stuff that we have that will be definitely a nice thing the handlebar again for later this into the forge. <sighs> Who 
Okay. Now it's just a thing of doing more work. Good people, uh, in a few seconds for you. Nice find, nice find, nice find. The crossbow schematics, that's coming in handy. And you can see I've, I'm finding parts for the mini bike. And I found a steel fire axe. And I'm not sure if we already have a beaker, but now we have uh, a beaker. That's a good thing for later. Anyways, if we have one, because two beakers is needed for the chemical workbench. And that's a thing we want to have later too. So <laughs> it's relatively uneventful what's happening right now, relatively. Uh, killing zombies and uh, looting stuff. Good. Okay, back in a bit. It's 10 o'clock pretty shortly and so we can end the episode here. I didn't find too much anymore. I found some gun parts and some uh, tools here. I don't know, that's nice because then we don't have to waste materials on it. I don't think that the level of an iron hoe plays any role because I just need it to till the earth. With the iron shovel we can repair our shovel, make it a bit better and uh, everything else. Yeah, I grabbed some water. We are running are running out of food. We might have to cook up some eggs. That's the only thing I have at the moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, but otherwise the rest of the day was pretty uneventful. Um, I will use the night to go and craft up or combine some uh, stocks and some gun parts, see how far I can go with it and maybe level up, put some skill points into certain things so that we might be able to even make better tools and all this stuff, uh, craft up some more of these things. Um, I am I'm still lacking iron. I have some more raw iron that will go into the forge and the rest will be the usual maintenance. I might come back to you in the morning for the next episode and then we will um, take a look at the crossbow, maybe make a trip to the fire station and uh, raid that thing and see what else we can do. I had another thing on my on my oh yeah the food situation we need to address and I decided that uh, in the next episode we take a look at farming that's a good thing that we have the hoe now <laughs> so I decided that down there I want to establish a bit of a farm so it's out of the way and we uh, we don't have to allocate area up here for that that also might make it possible for us to make the area in the backyard a bit smaller. We will see. Good people. I think that's all for today. And I hope to see you in uh, the next episode. If you did like the episode, then uh, please leave a like on it and take a look at the description. There's all the links to other things you might want to know. Good people. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. See ya, guys.